All right, let's dive into our first stretch. And this one, many of you know, is the hamstring stretch. So you just want to put that one foot out and reach over, grab as far as you can. And you want to try and put your head down as much as you can and hold this for about 30 seconds and do this on each side. All right, for our next stretch, this one is called the 90-90 stretch. And you want to make sure both of your legs are at a 90-90 degree angle. And you want to lay on that hip in front of you and stretch your arms out as far as you can so you can put as much weight as you can on that hip. And you want to do this for about 45 seconds on each side. All right, this next stretch is called the piriformis stretch, and it does a really good job at stretching out your piriformis muscle. And for this one, you want to put your right leg on your left leg, and make sure that left leg is at a 90 degree angle, and you want to grab that left leg and pull it as close as you can towards your body with your back still being on the ground. And you want to hold this one for about 45 seconds to really stretch out that gluteus maximus.
Alright, next up is a quad stretch. And I know a lot of people can't do this one. So if you can't do this one, instead, grab, go by like a wall or something. And you want to grab your left or right foot and put it up to your butt and hold it for about 30 seconds. But if you can do this one, it's really, really good at stretching out your quad and even some of your hip flexor. So just grab that left or right leg and pull it towards your lower back and lay there for about 45 seconds. At first it's really hard, but then as you get used to it, it starts to feel really, really good. Alright, next one is one of my favorite stretches. This one's called the posterior hip, hip stretch. And for this one, you just want to put your left or right leg in front of you and lay on it. And make sure you feel comfortable because you're going to be here for a little bit. And then put your other leg behind you and make sure that it, your knee's off the ground and you're just on your toes. And try to put as much weight as you possibly can on the hip that's in front of you and stretch out your arms as far as you can. And you want to hold this one for a solid 45 seconds to really, really stretch out that hip flexor. Alright, this next stretch is a really, really good hip flexor stretch. So for this one, you want to put one foot in front of you, put the other foot on that knee, and then you want to just make sure your butt's off the ground, and you want to hold this position for about 45 seconds, and do the same on the other side. 